Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix Instagram messages not sending. So I'm going to give you some reasons as to why this might be happening. So the first thing is, let me just go into my DMs real quick. And for an example, if you go into a chat and then you tap on the view profile button, if the profile loads up fine and you're able to see all the content on that specific profile, then that means that that person hasn't blocked you because when you're trying to send messages and they're not going through, sometimes the person can block you and that's why the messages aren't sending. So if you're not blocked and you're still not able to send messages, what you need to do is you need to check your internet connection. So what you can do is you can scroll on Instagram and just see how long it takes to load up things. You can also go into like the Play Store and you can search around on the Play Store and just see how fast it takes to load things up. So if your internet connection is a little bit slow or it's not acting normal, then what you can do is you can just switch to your mobile data if you're on Wi-Fi and vice versa to see if that fixes the problem. And then one of the other reasons why your messages might not be sending is that Instagram might be down. So the way that you check if Instagram is down is you can either go onto YouTube or Google and see articles talking about Instagram is down Lots of people will be talking about it on Twitter if Instagram is in fact down. So just check all those social medias to see if it's down. You can also go to downdetector.com to check. And then the last thing you can do is you want to check if there's any updates for Instagram. So if I go into the Play Store and I just type Instagram, you can see I have an update available. So an update might be able to fix that problem if it was like a glitch within the app and so on and so forth. And then the last and final thing that you can try and do is to restart your phone. So just press the power button or however you restart your phone, press restart and see if that fixes the problem. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to drop a like onto this video and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.